Peekaboo, follow me. Okay, so. <laughs> Let me let you get the full scrun down. Let's talk about what we're doing here. This is an old naked wardrobe dress that I actually thrifted from a friend who was giving away clothing. Thanks, friend. Um, Um, now, as far as the boots go, right? I'm wearing the boots from last vlog that I got from a box. So cute, love them. And I'm just gonna wear my leather jacket and my same purse. Hold on, I'll show you the whole thing in just two seconds. Let me just, one more time, I need to. Um, let me show you jacket. I got this jacket from Aritzia in like 2017 or 2018 in New York. I want to take off this belt kind of. The belt be feeling a little obnoxious to me. Oh, what am I saying? I can't because it's attached. So, all right, so the belt's staying on. And then I'm wearing my same old, same old. Because if it ain't broke no visit, you know what I mean? If it ain't broke no visit. And so, that's the whole look. How cute am I? Tink. Tink. I will see you girls when I get back in the house. Oh, for jewelry, I'm just doing a little light stud. Because sometimes you keep it light when you're doing the non-light. Right? Like, it's going to be, whoa, look at that ass. Look at that. Look at them. Look at that. You know, look at that waist. Look at that ass. Look at that. Look at that. You know, look at that. Look at that. You know, so it's just like, let me not do too much with the jewelry because you already gonna be, you know, sanctified and fucked up. So yeah, um, I'll see you girls when I get back. Bye. <laughs> o'clock today is that kind of insane three o'clock like tell me you you fuck with it because i fuck with that three o'clock a vlog upload ta -da. how you like me now how you like me now how, how you like me now um so yeah uh very proud of myself about a day what did i get on this camera to say oh i just want to say something i'm feeling really encouraged to just simply try like the the what keeps swirling around my head is just what would happen if you try like what would happen if you actually just try and it really feels like the biggest gift to myself and i i pray that this energy and this fire and this interest continues within me because it's so good when i feel this when i feel like ah, 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 let's go let's go let's go like i i'm, I'm really encouraged and I'm excited. Let me see what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow because I do need to do some grocery shopping because I have nothing at this point. Okay, it's supposed to rain. Oh, but it's gonna rain in the morning. Ooh, it's gonna be cold tomorrow. Mm -mm, I can't do that. But like, I wanna get that carrot juice again. I like that carrot juice. And I need to get a meal. But yeah, I'm gonna call it a night, it's midnight. I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I went to an event today and it was lovely. It was a great event, you know, specifically for MLK Day. I had a good time. I looked really cute. So all of the guys were just like, hello, uh, please talk to me. You know, that vibe, which I just, you know, I'm flourishing in. I'm just like, no, 
No, no, you know, yeah. all that. Um, but had there been one guy that I thought was cute or was actually talking about something, I would have happily, happily given him my number. But that just wasn't the case. Nobody, nobody did that thing. You know what I mean? So nobody got nothing out of me. Yeah. So for me, this hair is just simply braiding it. Two braids. I do put on the serum, but I do two braids and I put the sponge rollers on the end. That's it. And it gives me this little wavy look. So I will be doing this again tonight. But the hair is definitely cute. Like, I'm sorry, this is cute. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye, good night. You know what sensation I hate? It's when you're outside and it's cold as shit. So like you have on layers, you have on a coat. You're not cold for nothing. If anything, you're hot. Now I'm sweating in the cold. Like, another thing is that a lot of the stores, because it's so cold outside, they've got their heat turned up to the max. So you're coming from outside and you have on all this stuff. I have on layers. I'm wearing two of everything type shit. And it's just like, fuck, sweating like shit. I need to clip my hair up though for real, for real, because I'm actually hot. Maybe I should just drink some water. Woo! Anywho, just came back from Whole Foods. And I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's too because I'm fiending for that carrot juice. Why am I fiending for that carrot juice? But I want it so bad. Um, I got some more Mount Valley waters because I love them and I still haven't figured out what I want to do with my Brita. Like I changed the filter and everything, but it still just gives, I don't know. Hold on, I gotta clip my hair up this high. Real, real. Or maybe I'll just take this off. Okay. And I had the heat on in here because I was so cold. And there's a draft that comes from my window. And now that that couch is by the window, I'm just feeling the draft. So I was all bundled up. I had the heat on. It's just too much hot, cold, hot, cold. I also got my favorite box waters. These are from Flow. I feel like I talked about these in a previous vlog. But those are the best box waters I've had. I re-upped on my yogurt because I've really been enjoying the yogurt with the pomegranate seeds. I love that as like a nice snack or a good breakfast. This feels very light for it to be a book. Oh, what the fuck is this? This isn't, this isn't what I thought it was. What the hell is this? Oh, it's my retainer. They got some nerve sending it to me like this. I have to pay $25 for this motherfucker. And y'all sent it USPCS? What's USPCS? USPS. $25 to not have a tracking number? Invisalign is something else, boy, I tell you. These better fit right. I'll be trying them on tonight because I don't feel like putting them in now. So they sent some little packs of cleaning crystals. My last aligner, this should be, this should be my retainer that you know, I wear for a lifetime. This is what this is supposed to be. We'll find out tonight. And they sent me uh, another case. I thought that was my book. I have a book on the way that I ordered that I'm really excited about. And last night I was talking to a friend of mine, catching up, and he was telling me about this book that he felt like changed his life. And so whenever somebody shares that kind of testimony, like, man, this book changed my whole perspective on this, that, and the third, I'm always like, okay, let me let me get it. Like, I'll purchase a book off that, you know? And I'll be up on some eggs and some lemon. The basics. <sighs> during the day, or just like every day, not during the day. Every day, I wanna dedicate a few hours to working on this project that I'm working on and really treat it like a job. 
what I'm learning about myself is I tend to lean more towards the nighttime to work. Like at night is when my creative juices feel like flowing. I feel like the world is, you know, shutting down a little bit. So then there's less distractions for me and I'm able to really just focus on whatever it is I'm focused on. And yeah, I just, I'm trying to get over the guilt sometimes that I feel when I'm doing things like going to the grocery store, if I go to take a walk or if like I catch up on some TV during the day because I'm just like, you should be working right now. But I think I have to, and I do work. I, I'm like doing work casually and work looks different for everybody. I think I just have to stand in what work looks like for me and not compare it to what I think it should look like or how I feel I should be doing it. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel like, People who work for themselves or work at home, I'm sure you can feel me, you know? When you create your own schedule, there's a lot of, I feel like, internal conversations about how disciplined you are and how you work, you know? Literally how you work, where you work in your home, like, all that shit. As long as I'm making some progress, that's really all that matters to me. I every day want to have done something that's moving me a step closer to my next step. I want the work from today to make tomorrow easier. moment but I hate a man who ain't got no damn sense of humor when I tell you like a man that you could tell like be holding in his laugh because he just don't want you to know that he thinks you funny and this doesn't happen to me but I just know that type of man and I've heard this happen to other women and I've experienced a man not a man that I'm like talking to do this but like men who I'm casually in conversation with try to be such hard asses Meanwhile, they talk to a nigga who's very much mid in terms of how funny they are, and they laugh in their hairline back. Like, if you could do all that, ha ha and he he and for him, I'm trying to figure out why you can't. Like, one thing about it, my man better find me thing. Beautiful. Hey, girls. I haven't had any roses in a few weeks. This is nice. I'm gonna go back on the road for some carrot juice. Cause I really want some carrot juice. Should I wear this? I should, it's cold. I am going to take my headphones this time. Sometimes I like to go, when I go on a walk or go out, I'll go with no headphones. Just to like force myself to just listen to nothing and be quiet because when I get back here, I know I'm gonna turn the TV on or be on my computer or to be doing something. And so I try to use the outside time as quiet time, but not right now, I wanna hear something. All right, I have a podcast to catch up on. All right, I'll see y'all when I get back. It's not that bad out. The issue is, is that I always choose to carry so much at an ill opportune time. Like this was not today to be carrying a whole bunch of shit. I'm dealing with being hot and cold at the same time. Oh, woo! Well, uh, uh, woo. I do want to get some spinach. 
I want to get some spinach because I, I think I want to make like a stuffed chicken situation. But I didn't get whole chicken breast. I got my same thinly sliced chicken. So I would have to put two of those on top of each other and put and stuff it with the, the filling. Um, anyway. Got some green beans. I got this. I'm an applesauce girl. And I saw these and I wanted to try these. They're organic. It's these from Trader Joe's. They're organic. I'll tell you what's in this. Uh, organic apple puree, organic strawberry puree, organic apple juice concentrate, organic black carrot juice concentrate for color, and then ascorbic acid, vitamin C for freshness. And I'm assuming it's gonna be the same for this. This is organic apple puree, organic mango puree, and the ascorbic acid, vitamin C for freshness. So, nice. Cute all. Put these in the fridge. I got some orange juice for some vitamin C. I did get some more of those coconut smoothies because I really liked it. I liked it. You know what? I would like to have that again. I bought a plant for my bedroom. And remember how I was saying I was looking for a faux tree? I still am, because that's going in this little corner. But this right here, I'm gonna put someplace else in my bedroom. And the reason why this is a bedroom plant is because, well for me, it'll be my bedroom plant, is because it needs very little light. And so I was like, okay, that's perfect. So it has like a flower on the top that looks like it blooms from time to time. Um, the guy that was checking me out told me that he has this same plant, he's had it for four years, and it's hella tall. He said it's four feet tall. I said, wow. So. You know, let's see if I can get one out. We shall see. I did get the goods. Our carrot juice. I got some bananas. I have some golden potatoes. And then the chicken. I didn't show this, but I bought some salad shit from Kroger. So today, I'll probably make myself a little chicken salad. I decided if I should just go to Kroger right now and get the spinach and some bread. But no, because that's how stuff goes bad. I need to make some of this stuff first. No, because the meal would be stuffed chicken with some potatoes. And the stuffed chicken, I use cream cheese, spinach, and I would season it. And on the side, I have the green beans. I need spinach, cheese, more Yeah. Ooh. Let's eat a persimmon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Persimmon? Persimmon? Now I looked up online like how people eat this. Some people will like cut it up, put it in the oven and bake it and then put honey on it. But I already ate this before. Like I've tried one already off camera. I just lied, I tried it on camera. But I was looking so ugly that I cut it out the vlog. Stop here. Uh, at, at a certain point, you know what I mean? I gotta draw the line somewhere. But I ate it with the skin on just like this. And uh, it's mighty delicious, I like that. To me, it kind of has like the teeniest, tiniest taste of like cinnamon. It's the texture of a pear. This is what it looks like on the inside. <coughs> it's good, it's good, I like it. I like it a lot. Being from America and having an American family, there's a lot of fruit, spices, and foods that I just never tried. And so as an adult, it's really cool expanding my palate and trying new things.
sometimes I feel like there are men who see women who have built homes for themselves, built careers for themselves, they built a life for themselves where they have hobbies, interests, a routine. And when they see that, they don't know how they can be involved. They don't, they don't know how they can contribute. And so they just don't pursue that type of woman, a woman who's got all her shit together. And this is not all men, but I think there are certain men who believe that their value is rooted in creating that for a woman, the structure, the home, you know, the having it together. And I feel like you have to find a man who can look beyond his ego, or you have to find a person who can look beyond their ego and pride and really see the value in being in a relationship with someone who is capable of creating a life for themselves. Because the thing about it, as I look around in my home, I'm just like, I know there are some guys I'm talking about on Instagram, like, who look on my page, they see my page, and they don't pursue me. It's just a whole bunch of empty flirting. But they don't really pursue. And I feel like, and I have taken the time to like, look at these men and psychoanalyze them and this is just what I believe to be true about these particular men. But like, I feel like they look at me and they think I can't do anything for her. When in reality, it's like, I created this for myself because this is how I would like to live. And when I think about a man being in my life, I think about us being able to do this together. This doesn't have to be what it is, but this is what I've done for myself. And then when you get into a relationship with somebody, it's like, we can do this together. What does us doing this together look like? But again, you'd have to find somebody who can look beyond their own idea of how they're supposed to be in a relationship or what they're supposed to offer in a relationship. I don't take things at face value, you know? Not things like fat, like, there are some things you can take at face value. Like, you go in a man's apartment and it's crud and muck and slug everywhere. Girl, that's what it is, okay? Please, get back, you safe. But a man who you know hasn't found his personal style yet whatever things like that like that's just a sign of you're still growing you're still figuring it out and we all are i don't know i just feel like there's something to be said about a woman who's seemingly got it all together and how a man looks at that and does not see that woman as a woman worth fighting for or a woman worth pursuing and I feel like women who do have it all together and that do end up in relationships, I feel like a lot of times they end up with people who they have been with in their past, like someone who knew them before or knew them when, you know? Like, I don't know, I don't know. I think it's hard for men to see past things. And intimidation, a man being intimidated by a woman having her shit together is really a thing. Because there was a guy that I was dating and he's successful and the women who he had dated before me were all a lot younger, a lot younger than him, a lot younger than me, and the dynamic was very much, they were leaning on him for things, leaning on him for his mindset, you know, experiences that he could put them onto, you know, basic things that they had never experienced because time just hasn't been on their side. They haven't experienced it because they're young. It's not because they're not capable or they never will. It's just because they're young. And there are some men who only date young women because of that. They want to feel like they're putting a girl on, like she's, this is, they ain't never been in this kind of car. They ain't never been to this spot or that spot. Or they don't never, they ain't never dated a nigga like this. You know, it's just, I think adult dating really highlights to me how much ego and pride is wrapped up in it. And it's sad because I, I'm seeing how easy you end up in your 40s and 50s single because People are so stubborn and unwilling to remove that ego or rem remove that pride. And then you, you 40 something, 50 something, you like, all right, you know, now you really, you either really stuck in your ways or you're, you're willing to switch things up for the sake of change because you are at this point exhausted. <sighs> That's just my opinion. Let's see what's going on on. And, oof, oof. He think he to be his knees. Oh, oh, hate a man with a shell necklace. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Let me see. I love when they add the Instagram name. Because, hold on. Oh, that's cute. He's cute, but he's just a little too. He's a little too something. I'm going to save his page. Let's see. See if I need to revisit this. Because he's cute in the face. He's cute in the face. 
But I can't tell if he be dating black girls. Oh, uh, he got an underbite. Ooh, he got on a dangly cross earring. Wow, okay. Like a literal dangly cross. Goodbye, see ya. Just like that, goodbye, see ya, get out. Oof, I hate when somebody, actually let me not say it, cause somebody might. <laughs> Oh, baby. Go ahead and go ball, sweetie. Hold on. Can we talk about why is it so much work just to make this profile? Profile? Why is it so much work just to make this profile? Po profile. And it's like, you posted this, and I what he's looking like is like, beyond the fact that you look a mess, you also said profile. You didn't think you needed to refilm that? Goodbye. See ya. He keeps coming up. He, he kind of hurt, and he's cute, but he need to like my stuff. Why am I liking your stuff? He need to like my stuff. Oh yeah, no, ew, he one of the ones. Girl, he is smiling like his life depends on it. He's like this, <gasps> and he's doing it in slow motion. <gasps> I'm not kidding. I'm not making that up. He's actually doing that face in slow-mo, like he thinks he got the best teeth in town. Let me find his Instagram. It ain't nothing to me to find an Instagram, that's one thing about it. What is it? Oh, I do not like liking people's pages. I'm not about to like his page. <sighs> okay, I actually turn hinge on, actually, let me turn this light on. Ooh, it's 11-11, hey guys. I turned the app on so I could, and let it marinate for a little bit so I could see who be seeing my stuff and who actually gonna like my stuff. So let's see what he just actually talking about. So this guy, not my type from that first pick. You should not go out with me if you eat the tinfoil on the back of the salmon because that is serial killer activity. No, 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 no. I don't like the sound of that voice. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't like the sound of that voice. No, thank you. Okay, let's see about you. We gonna call you braids. Um, definitely cute. I feel like I know where he stay at. How tall are you? Wait a minute. Oh, I think we might have one, ladies. Let me see them teeth. Oh, might have to let one in. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh. And I like the picture that he like. But that could be strategic, you know what I'm saying? Like, they purposely don't like none of your bad big pictures and they like the wholesome one, like, boy, you don't get a wear. Hold on, that's his one. <laughs> okay, so, fine, I'm gonna let some conversation happen. Match, period. Let's see who this is. Oof, no, 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 no. Oof, I would hate to have to look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but, no, 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 cause you gotta think about it like that. Like, you gonna have to look at this every single day. I'm sorry, baby, but no, please. I'll wake up screaming. Okay, let me see. Let's go outside. We can go for a walk in the park, hit up a flea market, anything to get us out and about to enjoy the weather. Okay, good intentions, but uh, no. Oof, oh no, ooh, Lord. No, 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 his teeth look like they got a mind of their own. No, 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 sorry. Um, why is you linked up on this wall like this? I do not like this look, ooh, head pointy. No, 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 good God, ew, hell no, hell no, yuck. No, ew, <laughs> I'm sorry, but why would you be in the picture talking about, like, it is not 2006, come on, man. And he's being dead ass, that's why it's ugly, like, nah. And who is this? Oh, he's giving Damson vibes. Ooh, Damson off of Timu. Oh, he look better when his hair grow out. Oh, huh. Oh, but it's so, he's so corny. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. God, that is really a shame. Oh, this is a shame. Like, the packaging is there, but man, once you start looking at the nooks and crannies, it's like, no. No, no, no. X, you're done. <sighs> and this guy still sitting right here. I ain't gonna just go right there. Okay. Should I say something to him? I'm gonna go let him say hey. I'm gonna just say hey. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if sending a heart emoji is too much. I don't want it to sound like an email and I just be like, hey, blank with two exclamation points. That feels very email to me. So I'm like, do I just put an emoji? 
And if I do, okay, maybe not the heart. Maybe I put like the blushing face. Let me see. Let me see what looks best. I gotta actually put it on here. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Cause he gave me the hard eyes. So it's like, I'm just trying to match it. I'm just trying to match it. Did it. It's done. Did it. I did it and it's done. Ew. Anyway, um, it is a little past 11 and I'm going to bed. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Bye. The only thing I do do in front of everybody is- Doo -doo. <laughs> I'm sorry, but whenever I hear the only thing I do do, if I do do, it's doo do. Did you say something about doo do? Okay, I'll grow up. So I'll grow up. And girl, you ain't telling me nothing. I just wanted to show you. So I just pulled the roller off and I put a scarf over my head. That's my nighttime routine. But yeah, my hair is braided up. I love this style. It's just like a low maintenance situation. Look at that. Let me fluff it out. Let me let you see it up against the light. Like, yeah. You fluff it out real nice. And that's it, girl. That's the hair. I've been doing this hair the last couple of days. And <clears throat> it looks good. It smells delicious because I've been using that same serum. And all I put on it is the serum. And I do put on that scalp stuff from Shea Moisture with the uh, apple cider and the salicylic acid. I have been using that on my scalp. And yeah, I think Today I'm gonna put the Myel uh, drops on my scalp. I think I might do that right now actually. Sit with that on for the day. But yeah, today I am locked in, doing some work. I might eat some breakfast first because I'm hungry. Even though it's noon. Yeah, it's 12.33. It's my breakfast time. So yeah, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and I'll see y'all later. Girl, so remember the man. I'm gonna just do my scout shit with y'all. Remember the man from last night who I told y'all I had matched with on his? <laughs> why, um, why he was like, it don't look like you in Brooklyn. Cause remember I changed my location to Brooklyn. He was like, it don't look like you in Brooklyn. And I went back and forth about telling him where I was. Like I wanted to completely like not acknowledge what he said and just move on to a different subject. But I was like, what's the big damn deal? So I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm not in Brooklyn at the moment, but I go to New York often. And I got out the app and I started doing other things. Why when I went back in the app, he unmatched me? <laughs> I said, oh. <laughs> but you know what, fair. Cause that's what I would do if the roles were reversed. And that's happened plenty of times where a guy says he's where I'm at and he ain't. And it's just like, what you playing? So I get it. I just thought that was hella funny. And you better know that if he ever sees me in real life and says, no, oh, I recognize you. Didn't we match on so-and-so? I'm gonna be like, mm-mm, no. Actually, I'm not even on hinge, so you must've got catfish. See ya! Yeah, you snooze, you lose. That's the thing about me. No, no, no. Ain't no, ain't you the same girl? Nope, I'm not. Bye-bye. You're lost. See ya. Like, yes, I get it, but also, don't care. Goodbye. <laughs> Do not care. Goodbye. It's a little bit of this. A little bit of this. All right. Oh, you want to know what I really like? It just fell on the floor. It reminded me. But this Sephora Collection uh, lip mask. I really like it. I put it on every night before bed. I wake up, my lips are nice and moisturized. And I also put it on um, in the morning after I like brush my teeth and wash my face. And I really like it. I have the coconut flavor, but they have different flavors. If coconut's not your jam, I know I saw strawberry. I don't know, there was another one. Okay, cool. And the great thing about a blowout, specifically one where you're like letting your hair be wavy, is that if the roots wave up a little bit because you're putting on oils or using something like this, which I think has water in it. Yeah, like the first ingredient to the Shea Moisture anti-dandruff thing is water. So it might cause your hair to revert a little bit. Because my hair is like wavy at the bottom, it doesn't look crazy. If my hair was biggity bone straight, then I would not use this. This, When your hair is biggity bone straight, you can't use products that have water as an ingredient in it or your hair is going to revert. But for this blowout, I don't mind that. I don't mind that, cause you really can't tell. You really can't tell. But I have been loving wearing my hair 
and the style no mess no fuss i don't have to do anything to my hair it's just it's been a nice break i'll tell you that okay it's work time okay Harlan. you're trying to get me to attack you right here because that's what's gonna happen i'm just trying to tell you that you're eligible for parole in six weeks you don't believe me you can read right yeah keep calling me talk shit off me we didn't land on this rock this rock landed on us I meant to get that on camera, but I just put some of this orzo in the boiling water. And it's not a lot. I just put two uh, third cups in there. Now, the thing is, is that this was a quick meal, okay? We got that orzo with some fresh, um, fresh, um, which my face, um, cherry tomatoes. I also have some basil in there, and all I seasoned it with was butter and a little bit of salt, because I don't really know how to make that orzo yet. So that's what that is, and it tastes good. We got a little salad here, cucumbers, Parmesan cheese, dressing, that's it, and then the chicken. It's called Small Lace. Pretty in the face, make a nigga wanna have to get a case, hey! I'll see y'all after I'm done eating, bye. It's giving dead presidents, but just hold on. I just saw a TikTok and this girl was sharing her skin journey and she said that she had tried black girl sunscreen and it broke her out real bad. And then she started using Urban Skin RX and it cleared her skin. I was just like, damn, like, that's one thing about it. The products I've been using lately, I do not feel like they are fucking my skin up. But I do feel like I got some sun damage on my face. I know exactly when it was happening because I could feel my skin burning. It was when I was in the Bahamas and I just, I wasn't reapplying sunscreen and I was using motherfucking Super Goop, which Super Goop only has 40 SPF in it. And like, if you're not reapplying that motherfucker and like that sun in the Bahamas is different. It feels closer to you and I was not in any shade. So it was just like, I was just in the sun. Um, and I definitely burnt my skin. Like I feel like my nose just got back regular. Cause my nose for a long time just always looked dry and burnt to me. And I could really tell when I would try to put makeup on it. And I still don't put makeup on my nose. But yeah, be careful with these products and be careful with that sun. I'm on the way just to go to a friend's house and I'm gonna work out of her house today just a change of scenery get the body moving i was like in the bed this morning it was so cold that i just hung out in the bed a little longer than i have been these last few days and i will admit i started scrolling on my phone but i caught myself and i got in line oh guess what mascara i love this Ilya. Yes, Ilya. I tried this the other day, just wanting to try something new. And I don't remember when I got this sample, but got this from Sephora and I really like it. So I'm gonna get the full size version. I like the wand and that's the biggest thing for me. Like a lot of these wands are not small lash friendly, but this has like a comb on it. So you can really get all up and in between your lashes. This is random, but the quickest way to get over a man is to go on his page and look at all his pictures and just remind yourself how ugly he is. Cause a lot of these niggas be ugly. You know, we just be making ourselves like him. But go to his page, go to his tag pictures. That'll tell you everything you need to know. I had to do that shit this morning. I was like, ooh, never mind. <laughs> You ain't got to worry about me. Goodbye. I'm not hung up on nobody. But you know when you just keep playing the what ifs? I was playing the what ifs game. And I just said, hold on, let me get a good look at this motherfucker. Mm -mm. Girl, please. That is not what I'm looking for. For real, for real. I hope they still sell this mascara. Cause this hat, I don't know when I got this. Watch my face. 
but I hope they still do because I actually really like it. I'm not gonna do any makeup today. Don't wanna do makeup, so we'll be. It's always scary dropping this. I hope it's not shattered. <sighs> okay, it's not. That was scary. Raise your hand if you were scared. Me too. <laughs> Let me know where that's from. It's Tyra Banks. Okay. Take this hair down. I'm gonna wash my hair this weekend because, yeah. Definitely need my hair washed. Had a nice run. Doing out there. Ooh, it's looking kind of crazy on this side. All right, girls. I will see you when I get back. Bye. So I'm just getting home. I had a fabulous time with my friend. But as I sat down, I said, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I know what I forgot. I forgot that I bought tickets to a jazz concert tonight. And the concert's already done. The doors opened at seven. It is now nine, excuse me, it's 10 o'clock. Concert's over with. I was looking so forward to this show. And I bought these tickets on some like solo dolo. This is just something I'm gonna enjoy. Completely forgot about it. <sighs> I'm so irritated. So irritated. So fucking irritated. Wow. Wow. So, update. I went to my leasing office today because I saw the person who had told me that the unit that I wanted to look at was off the market. And I just wanted to let them know, like, I really am disappointed and frustrated at the fact that not even five days after our conversation, somebody was moving into that unit. Actually, it was like a week. It was like a full seven days, right? So I went in there and I was like, before I even told him that I knew somebody moved in, I said, he never called me back about the down unit. Cause I think I was calling it a dead unit in the last vlog. It wasn't a dead unit, it's called a down unit. And so I said, you never called me back about the down unit. He was like, yeah, it's still a down unit. I said, no it's not, somebody moved in. Oh, really? Opens up laptops, check. That's what you should have done before you told me it's still a dead unit, it's still a down unit. Why is you so quick to want to tell me something and you don't even know for real if this is what the fuck you saying it is? That's what the fuck is wrong with motherfuckers these days. Y'all so quick to just say some shit, y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. And if you one of the motherfuckers that do shit like that, please stop. Like, you make yourself look like a fool. And he eventually apologized after he did all that searching and saw he was like, I don't know how somebody could have. My friend was like, what was his, um, what was his explanation? I said, there was no explanation. There is no explanation for stupidity. He said, well, I don't know how somebody could have moved in there and leased it out in the course of seven days. I know how. How about it was never a down unit? How about that thing that you were saying? It never was that. How about that? That's how that happened. Simple. Um, so he apologized, but it's just like, who, you know, it's a little late for an apology. Of course I accepted it and I, Told him I appreciate him for apologizing because at minimum I'd hope that you were able to acknowledge when you make a mistake. That's when you really piss me off and you can't even acknowledge you made a mistake. So he acknowledged his mistake, he apologized. I told him thank you for that. I appreciate it. But like the reason also why I went and talked to him today is because this morning at 5.30 in the motherfuck ass morning I was woken up from loud ass music. And it's like bro, I pay way too much money to be dealing with shit like this. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Like, it don't make no sense how much I'm paying and then what I'm dealing with. It just, those two things should not go together. And yeah, like, whew. And the thing is that, you know, I know watching this, it could be like, yeah, you, you just need to move. But it's like, wherever you move to, you're gonna deal with something. You know what I mean? You have to like, choose your evils. I don't know what the term is, but you gotta choose your, what you wanna deal with type shit. And that's why the whole, he didn't really check on the unit I asked about was frustrating because that could have solved so much because that unit was on the top floor. And so I wouldn't have to deal with nobody above me, bothering me, disturbing me. That would have solved so much. The rent is cheaper too, cause it's a smaller unit and I'm ready to downsize. It's just like from you just not going the extra mile to actually do your fucking job, I had to deal with what I've been dealing with. And it's really, really, really frustrating. But also it's encouraging because I really just want to boss up. I want to get to a place where I'm not thinking about how expensive my rent is. You know what I'm saying? Like financially, I just want to get to a place where like, you know what I'm saying? It's like that. Like, 
I want that and um, I'll get there. I feel that way, I'll get there. I've been working every day, girl. Uh, my homegirl came here and we just, we worked together. Um, I had work to do, she had work to do. So we just worked in here. What else? Oh, I went to the plant store. I did get a little plant. I'll show y'all tomorrow, like when the sun's up. I think I'm gonna go to my grandmother's house cause she's moving out her house that she's been living in for longer than I've been born. And she's moving and she's like, y'all come over here and take what you want. So I'm gonna go over there, see what she got going on. And yeah, before I go, I'll check in with y'all and let y'all see. I got some new pillows for my living room that I think kind of bring it together. And I also got a new plant. Um, so yeah, I'll show y'all that tomorrow. I'm about to just eat. I done made me a little bit of potatoes and heated up that chicken I made. Oh, that salad I showed earlier, that's the salad that I made for lunch for me and my friend. It was delicious, if I do say so myself, and she def says so. So it was good. Yeah, I was gonna go live, but I'm in a yuck mood. I don't, I don't wanna take it out on anybody. Or do. I don't know. I'll see, I'm gonna make my plate and see how I feel, but I'm definitely... I don't know if I said this on here. I had to have. But I had tickets to a jazz concert that I bought for myself in December as like a treat to myself that I was gonna just go and enjoy. And I bought two tickets. And I was like, I don't know who I'm gonna take, but I'm just buying this. And whoever I choose to go with, we just gonna enjoy this concert. The concert was yesterday. Do you think I remembered it was yesterday? Bitch, I got home, text my friend, I'm home. Opened up Instagram. First thing I saw was like, this other band that I like, their tour dates. I said, <gasps> and it clicked. It all, ha it happened so fast. You know, that, that mean what you say in the algebra, that's, that's what happened. So annoying, so fucking annoying. Couldn't believe I did that shit. I had a great day yesterday, but I wanted to go to that motherfucking concert. I can't believe I did that. <sighs> so, yeah, I need to wear my lion's mane hat. Need to focus, I ain't focused. Something going on. So yeah, I didn't put it for you. I, Kennedy, why ain't you put it in your calendar? Why you ain't? Girl, please. This ain't the time to be asking why you ain't. I'm not in the mood. I think I'm gonna go live, yeah. I need to just, I need to talk it out. That's me. Anybody else need to talk it out and that makes them feel better? Cause that's me. If I could, if I could talk it out, I get to laugh a little bit, take a few shots at some unsuspecting niggas. I'd be happy. I'm trying to decide if I should take my laptop. I don't think I should. I'm about to go to my grandmother's house. I'll see y'all when I get back. I would like to get to know you, baby. Like to get. All right, girls, see you later. Okay, let's chat. First of all, this big bag is from the pillows that I just got, which I'll show you right now. And I think they really do something to the room. Let me show ya. Okay, so we've got some pillows over there looking so cute. So I decided I'm gonna get like a little pink side table that matches that. This is not gonna be there, okay? But I'm gonna get me a pink acrylic side table to go right there. I think that'll be cute. So yeah. I'd show you like more than this, but then you'd be seeing outside of my apartment and I don't do that. I don't need nobody trying to put two and two together. So, all right. Just came back from my grandmother's house. And one thing about me, I love old black artwork. And so this painting by Carl Jackson or Earl Jackson, Earl Jackson. She's had in her house for so long. Like when I see this, it makes me think about my grandmother and I just, I love it. I just love it so much. So, I asked if I could have that. I also asked for this piece by C.W. Mundy, Braiding by the Stream. Love that so much. Love that so much, gonna get that framed. I feel like as I've gotten older, I really just appreciate the art from my home growing up. Like, even this piece down here, you can't see because of the glare, but I'll show you. This piece, that, was in my house growing up. I told y'all about her and what she do for me. And I'm moving that piece of artwork because I actually am so annoyed at the glare. Like the glare is, I told y'all, that's why I didn't want it there in the first place, because of the glare. So I'm gonna be moving that, but I do like that piece in this room. I just have to figure out where I'm gonna put it. Maybe I'll have it in that space up there, because there is a space to put it on the gallery wall. 
Like, if I put it up there, I think that would actually look kind of nice. Okay, so let's go through some of the things that I got for my grandmother's. Also, this is not gonna stay right here. This is just there for right now. I don't really know where I'm putting this artwork yet. So right now, it's just chilling out right here. But yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put this just yet. Just yet, I don't know. So I did get a few books and I'll show you all the books afterwards. Let me pull everything out. So our first piece is this Buddha. My grandmother does not play about Buddha. She was like, do you respect Buddha? I said, yes. She was like, okay, you can have it. So um, she let me have this. And I have the kind of grandmother who like has friends all over the world and gets gifts from people who've traveled all over the world and that's from someplace. What's the someplace, can it be where? I forgot to ask. But it was in this case that she keeps all of her gifts from people who've traveled or places that she's traveled. And uh, so I know it's from someplace. And it's really heavy, actually. Like this is, if I needed to somebody on the head, they'd be a goner. So I'm gonna find a place for Buddha. This actually goes with this. Like, this is how she had it. But I think I'm gonna put this, let me see, just to add a little color to this area. I'm, I gotta do some moving around. I'm not keeping this pillow here, I think. Well, I might keep the pillow here, but I'm gonna change the cover. Or I need to wash the cover, something. Right now, they just look raggedy to me. I just moved them out the way since I put those new things there. These candles can go, because they're done. These candles out the way. And I was thinking, let's see if it's big enough. Kind of, uh, not really. So I'll put it up there then. Yeah, that'll be cute. Let me see. Wait. I'm not mad at that. I'm just seeing where else I could put this. I don't know if I love this. Yeah, it's pretty random and you can't see. I don't like that up there. Maybe I can use it in the bathroom. Maybe I have to get a little faux plant and put it in the bathroom to keep it together. Maybe it could go up there with that plant. Let me figure that out. But I wanted this. I like the pink. It feels like Christmas, I don't remember. Oh, this is my grandmother's china. So she didn't want to give this up. She has a whole china set. There's like a lot of them. And I was like, can I just have two of these? She was like, no. And I just kept asking. She was like, okay, what do you want? But this is my grandmother's china. It was a gift from her father when she got married, 1960. So I have that. Some matching china dessert bowl. I just thought, man, history. You know what I'm saying? Like this is history. I just think that's so cute. They're so delicate. And I really think they're really cute. So, got some fine china. Uh, oh, this is so funny because I said that, oh, I'll probably like, my grandmother, she has all these like little black trinkets as most of our grandmothers do. But so she had these little black angels and I was like, can I have those? She said, no. You and your brother got me those. And I'm like, we did? She said, I mean, your mom got them for me, but they were a gift from y'all. And it's just little bells. They're little bells. Anyway, I just thought it was, it just like, I don't know, it just reminds me of a time. I don't know, and there's also these are things that are gonna remind me of my grandmother. Like, my grandmother is 87. She's moving out of the home that she's been in for the last 34 years. And it's just a big deal. I, you know, I wanted to take some things that reminded me of her, i.e. the artwork, i.e. the angels, and the fact that those angels, and that's the first thing I asked for, the fact that that was a gift for me and my brother to her when we were babies. Um, just like, yeah, I, I'd love to have that memory. Um, and her china, like what? Then I asked for this. I thought this was a really nice vase. Nice and it'll look nice in here with the birds of paradise. So I might put this over here or I'll sit it up up there somewhere. But yeah, oh, it's nice right there. Yeah, I like that. Or maybe I'll get rid of this. Like 
This gets on my nerves now. This. So maybe instead, I need to clean this counter. I don't know. We gonna play around till it all, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing's for certain, girl. Are you over there kicking and screaming at the TV? Stop. Um, oh, okay, so these are the books. I actually got a lot of books from her. I'll show you all of them. She had two copies of The Secret, and I said, you know what, I'm reading The Secret now, but I would love to have one of my grandmother's copies. Periante. So I picked that up. I have this book from Eckhart Tolle, and I have a book from him. I can't remember which one it is, but Oprah loves Eckhart Tolle. Um, this is A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose. And so I thought this would be a nice read. And it's just like highlighted pages from my grandmother in here. And I just, I like shit like that. Here's another book by Eckhart Tolle called The Power of Now, A Guide to Spiritual Enlightenment. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, we got The Negro. This is The Negro in the Making of America, Today's Civil Rights Struggle and its Three Century Background as seen by a famous Negro historian. It's good for us to have books like this now. Uh, we got American Negro Slave Revolts, which I'm also excited to turn a few pages and learn something. I got a Maya Angelou, Great Food All Day Long, Cook Splendidly, Eat Smart cookbook. Uh, what? Love that. A B. Smith Rituals and Celebration cookbook. Stop it, stop it. I can't wait. And then like the food looks so good. There's pictures and stuff on here. Well, this don't look that good. This chicken looks barely cooked. Look at this chicken. B. Smith. That one picture I saw look good. Look, you pick what you like and you leave what you don't. That's it, Periante. But I love these pictures in here. Pictures of everything. Even though, wasn't there like, didn't his, her husband do something crazy? I don't know, but I always thought Beast Smith was so beautiful. So I wanted that. And then last but not least, Speak So You Can Speak Again, The Life of Zora Neale Hurston. And this book is really cool because it's like a museum. There are some pages, a lot of the pages contain actual written things by her in it. And you open it up. Like there's a lot of pages like this where there's, things in here written by her. So this right here is Harlem Slanguage. So they got Pilch, which is what you would call your house or apartment. Scooter Pooker, uh, a professional at sex. Oh, not Scooter Pooker. Scooter Pooking, practicing or act of sex. Jelly is sex. Jelly Bean, a man who lives by sex or a pimp. P.I. is a pimp. Sweetback, a pimp. A flatter, a lesbian. Flatter is a lesbian. Scrap iron, cheap liquor. Conk buster, cheap liquor, reefer. Marijuana cigarette, drag, reefer, a West Indian. What the? Miss Ann was a white woman. The wagons, police patrol. Girl. Oh, it's some, of, it's some of these things on here I can't say. Oh, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, oh wow. Interesting. Well, her signature is on here. I think this is too cool. I can't wait to get into this. I can't wait to get into this. So that's that. What's something else I could pull out real quick? Wow. Oh, some poems. Like, this is cool. This is cool, this is cool. Cool stuff. Happy to have. So very happy to have. Like, I'm really just in that place where like, I wanna learn about my family. I wanna, I wanna spend time with my family. I wanna, I'm into the history of it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's mattering to me. Oh shit. That's what matters to me, period. So yeah, those are all my goodies. Oh, and then, Last but not least, Connect Four. Old school, Connect Four. Uh, I love Connect Four. It's the only game I don't have. Actually, I have plenty of games that I don't have. But it's a game that I love that I don't have. And yeah, she was like, I know you like games. There's Connect Four in there. So now I have Connect Four. And so we used to play this all the time at her house. All these little things just bring back memories. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all like, like this box is bringing back a memory. Like I remember this box. I remember these two white kids on this box. Like it's embedded in my brain. Yeah. Oh, and then my grandmother, she like myself is an adult colorer. And so she has coloring books, a whole bunch of coloring books. She's like, who wants my coloring books? So me, me. So just fun things to color. Oh, she's got some stuff in here that she colored. Nice. Cool. 
tell you what though, I'm hungry as fuck. I don't know where I'm gonna put my little something before I pass out. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you girls later. Bye. Okay, so one thing, cause I'm really paying attention to my hair these days. One thing I have to stop doing is clipping my hair up when it's still wet because I'm stretching my hair out unintentionally. And yeah, I notice it every time I take the clip out. I'm diffusing these days because I think my scalp acts how it does because I'm air drying, period. So I'm gonna do it on a cool setting, high. camera's about to die but here's the hair all diffused out scalp completely dry so dry that I noticed a dandruff or two I just washed my hair so that lets me know that it's not about dirt it's about pure dryness okay and the thing about it is today I'm gonna put on this this is the Shea Moisture salicylic acid one that's supposed to help with preventing dandruff and it also has apple cider vinegar in it. I'm gonna put this on my scalp as like a treatment for the dryness, but I'm gonna have to find a moisturizing scalp situation, which I have not landed my finger on. Like that hair food one I have, that ain't nothing but petroleum. You know what I'm saying? Old school grease. And while I don't mind that, I don't think that's a long-term solution to my dry scalp, so. Gonna have to figure that out. But basically, I'm just about to put this all over my scalp because I'm sure there's other areas because I noticed it just right in the front, it was dry. Like I noticed dry skin. I'm gonna do this all over my scalp because I'm sure there are other areas that are dry too. And I'm gonna have to think about what I'm gonna do with my scalp moving forward. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Hair is back curly, well washed. I'm gonna finish editing today so that I can get the vlog up early Monday because that's my new bag, girl. I'm getting the vlog up before fucking 12 a.m. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. I'll see you next week.